Hey everybody, it's a loyal gamer welcoming everyone back to Let's Play Suicoden 3. Alright, in the last episode we pretty much finished up with Jeddo's chapters. Or his basically his sliver of chapter 5, rather. In this episode, we're pretty much gonna go on and continue on with Chris's little ch uh not chapter, I'm still used to saying chapters, damn it. But we're gonna be uh going over uh Chris's little segment here. <clears throat> and I'm stuck! Okay, well. There we go. Okay. So, basically what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to the Yaza Plane. No, we're not going to go over to the Yaza Plane. Not yet, anyway. Um, mainly because... I still have to prep up my characters because I did not do that off screen, so you will be seeing this in screen. How about that? God damn it, I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, basically, um, what they give you, the game uh, gives you certain characters on default, but seeming as how I don't really pay attention to a lot of these characters, I'm going to be swapping them out with uh, characters that are going to be a bit stronger. Oop, excuse me there. Alright, so yeah, you got Salome and... You know, no, no. We can't have him in here. Boris, I'm probably gonna end up keeping. Because Boris isn't half bad of a character. He's got pretty good defense and offense. So, I will probably take little Emily along with me. Little Emily, yes. Uh, let's see here. I am really tempted to use the Fudge Bright combo, but I don't know about that. I'm not going to really take Juan, though, because uh, I want him to stay here uh, just in case if I need him for Hugo's portion, so I'm just going to take certain people out of my primary party, but not everybody. So we'll put Nay in there, I guess, because Nay is a pretty good support character for everything. <clears throat> And we still have, ah, we still have Lewis as support, but, let's see, uh, hmm. Premier level equipment. Eh, for the most part, it's pretty meh party. Um, again, you get to take another, you get to select uh, another, okay, let me rephrase that. You get to be able to, um, uh, have another chance to select your party again. So it's really just getting over the Yaza planes that you have to worry about. It's not really so much, um, <clears throat> you gotta do a boss battle in the next five minutes or anything, so, whatever. But the current combination probably would have gotten their asses kicked on the Yaza plane, so I gotta swap it out with slightly more powerful people. So basically, just like Jeddo's chapters, I would definitely stay behind and upgrade people's armors and whatnot. But for this occasion, you can basically wait until you go to Vina del Zexe, which is probably where I'm going to go to next. See ya. Alright, Vina del Zexe. Um, yes, pony time! Love ponies. I love my pony. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> getting back to the point, uh, I basically want to come here mainly because you can find some of the best armors in the game right here if you go right into the council building. And now that we're able to play as Chris, we'll actually have that arena unlocked. Let's go, t let's go around and uh, talk to these people. They probably have a lot of interesting stuff to say. Yeah. Or, or not, you know, taking a risk with these types of things. Nothing to report. You know. well, it seems like uh, everybody's very supportive of us, even though it kind of looks like we're going against the council here. Oh, little kid, get out of my way. Seriously. There we go. <laughs> Weirdos. Okay, so basically, like I said, we got to go to the council, and inside we can basically access the armor shops again. That we were basically able to at the beginning of the game, but seeing as how all of this crap happened and we ran away, uh, we weren't able to do so for the longest time, so. 
can just enter on up here. I'm surprised we're still able to enter the council building. I mean, despite all the crap that's happened. What do you got to say? <clears throat> As the knights will soon be summoned. Uh, they're still arguing about it. We'll probably finish this game uh, by the time they're done arguing anyway, because it take like ages to do that. And my god, if you think the Zexing Council is bad in the next game, which is Ark the Lad 4, you basically have another console that's just like this console, and they just take forever on their discussions. It's really funny just to watch them. But, <clears throat> yeah, definitely buy gold emblem emblems because they increase magic resistance. Uh, and they're pretty good for your defense anyway, especially if you want to put them on a weak character. Alright, so Guardian Shield, and. Eh. Doesn't really look like we can use that for anybody here in our party, at least. But we have custom equipment, yes. It's unfortunate that we're broke, as we are, because, well, we only have t Yeah, we're not really going to have enough for everybody, but... <clears throat> but the thing is, you want to buy your stuff here, because if you're able to buy uh, stuff here, then you're going to be able to buy stuff at your castle for reduced cost. So, I keep saying that over and over again. You guys pretty much know that already. Um, hmm. Custom cask. Yeah, the casks are definitely good. Like, everybody wears casks. But if, you, if your characters already have premier level equipment for the most part, you won't really have to worry about uh, upgrading them as much. Unless if they're your primary characters, then that's totally uh, feasible. Alright, so... And we have the douchebag song play in the background. You gotta, you gotta love this music when you're sorting out for equipment, though, I swear. It makes me want to sing along again, but... Fortunately, we're gonna have to solve some crap first. Yeah, what am I gonna do with these armors of rages? I mean, they're just pretty much gonna be, like, sitting here the entire time. Again, I'm gonna have to go back and deposit this crap off, because, well, nobody's gonna be able to use it. And anyway, let's uh, hurry up and go ahead here. What do you got? Uh, you have some different things, but not really anything of interest. You have the unicorn rune, it makes you fart rainbows. Okay, well, l l let's get out of here. This place is already starting to bore me. Alright, so I will probably meet you on the world map or at Brass Castle uh, pretty quick here. Again, I'm going to start editing out all my travels to speed up the, uh, the amount of this LP, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm here at Brass Castle riding my pony. Are you mad because I'm riding a pony? I bet none of you have a pony like I do. Oh. Well, if you're playing along, then you're probably going to be riding on a pony, too, so... Oh, looks like there's a commotion going on. <laughs> commotion! Well, there you go, Chris. You pretty much marked my words. Or matched my words, rather. Nah, it looked like the knights were bickering. <laughs> I didn't see any merchants there. But basically what you have to do... Actually, what you have to do is go up to uh, the... What was it? The uh, eastern side? Yeah, I think it was the eastern side. But, yeah, I guess you could save, but I'm just going to go ahead and go up here. <clears throat> Alright, what do we have? Listen, Lady Chris is in here. Oh, look, it's, uh, who was it? Yumi? Yumi, is that you? I can barely see you from here. Oh. What do you want? Oh, Lady Chris, I didn't know you were here. Forgive me, my lady. Oh, okay, he doesn't have that accent. It just sounds funny when I give him that accent. So what does Yumi want? What do you want?
We weren't allowed to leave the village because my great aunt forbade it. So why are you here? Oh. Um, that's not a good thing, I guess. But wait a minute, how would she know about the location of Brass Castle? And this is a bit, well... I don't know. If she's never been outside her village, then I don't know. She must have some type of telekinetic powers or whatever. But this is kind of weird. I never would imagine an Alma Kanan girl, uh, you know, coming here to the Brass Castle. I mean, it just seems kind of odd, but... <clears throat> Alright, so Boris will be coming with us. There's basically no choice in that. And right here, Salome gives you the option of choosing the people in your party, so... Uh, I could probably take Vicky for this. Not really too worried about that. Um, hmm. Should I be taking... I want to take a, a heavy hitter, definitely, with the physical trait. Or... Or with good physical traits, rather. So, let's see. Who are we going to pick here? I'm probably just going to go ahead and speed it up since it's uh, looking like it might take a little while for me to... Alright, so this is looking like my final party here. We'll just swap out Lewis. <clears throat> and we'll probably put in... Uh, I don't know about Jian, but probably like... Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'll just put her in there. I don't really have time to think about these things. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. So Yumi joins our party. Great. And we're pretty much going to be riding on our pony all the way to the other side of the gate. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. We have Boris, Emily, Vicky, Juan. I'm decided to taking on Juan, too, because you, you really need a good... Uh, people with physical attributes like I said you also want to have medicines on everybody because believe it or not there is going to be a boss fight coming up so you better uh, go ahead and prepare here but I do have uh, a little trick that I'm going to do with this one uh, basically what I'm going to do is what I plan to do anyway is that I'm gonna seal off magic and in order for this to work, I'm going to have to have strong uh, people with physical attack, seeming as how I can't cast magic. And uh, my ways of he uh, healing are also limited because I have to use uh, medicines instead of using healing spells like I traditionally do. So basically what you want to do is have like a medicine per, one medicine per partner or something like this. Yeah, don't remove uh, Juan's yellow scarf there. We definitely want to slap some medicines on people. Without reducing their defense too much, anyway. I'll see you guys on the world map. Hello, everybody. Alright, so we're basically going to go ahead and go on a Kaput Forest. Kaput. And we're basically going to go ahead and ride our horsey again. How about that? So we got to find out what's going on with the Almakanon village. So apparently they were hit hard. So I can only imagine the devastation that would uh, come, up, come upon this. Oh, the little control issues there with the horse. It's always weird at controlling this thing because it's so fast, yet it's kind of hard to steer when it's in its galloping phase or whatever. Why are we stopping? Why is a cutscene happening? What's going on? Hmm. Are you tormented by your link to the flame champion? Uh, what? You're strong enough to bear this responsibility? What the hell? That's kind of random. Um...
What? Uh oh. Oh snap. Damn it, Sarah! <laughs> you bitch! Oh my god, wow! She trolled us hard. Are you honestly prepared to control the enormous power that the true rune gives you? I hate it when an antagonist questions you like that. It's so aggravating. Yeah, but what is Master Luke's reason? I mean, why is he going after those runes? Like I said, I think I've been asking that like the entire LP. Oh no, what are you up to now? Oh crap, well there's that boss battle we're talking about. So in the next episode, we will be carrying this out. This is ALG, signing off.